So this is the very first track I've reacted to from this band, Chicago. They are, you guessed it, a Chicago-based band. And this is one of their biggest hits. And it's got quite an interesting kind of inspirational process for writing this track. They were apparently just writing about what was right in front of them. Thus the title, 25 or 26 minutes to 4 o'clock. It was written in the morning, 3.35, 34 a.m. was the inspiration for the track. But apparently there are some allusions to this track being about an acid trip and some it's kind of drug references, if you will, which led to them being banned from Singapore. There was a Singapore ban for this track on radio stations in Singapore. This is a donator suggested track from Connie. So here we go. Let's check out this track. This is 25 or 6 to 4 by Chicago. <laughs> Okay, very interesting sound. I had no prior experience with this band as, at all. It sounds to me like it has the style of a marching band. Am I wrong to say that? Especially with the horn side of things. Fantastic. I think it's called a brass section. Lots of trumpets, saxophones going on. Uh, really great drum beat as well. Very thick guitar line or bass line, I should say, with the lead guitar at the end of it. So it's like a cross between different styles of music together. Very rich musically. Blindly. expert use of that pedal i believe it's called a wah pedal that he's using that style that i first heard introduced to me by hendrix really great use of that thing man i can kind of see the allusions to the idea that it's about drugs very slightly it i mean it does uh, the idea was before in the introduction that it's like a um, acid trip maybe 
I can kind of see that, especially with the idea of flashing lights against the sky, giving up. I close my eyes. If you've ever been on a trip yourself, you understand that feeling. You have to succumb to what is happening to you. You have to give up. The more you fight it, the more your ego kind of battles with the drug. Uh, bad things can happen. You can take a weird trip. So staring blandly into space, getting up to splash my face. Uh, I mean, it's not the craziest stretch to imagine. It's alluding to something, some kind of usage. <laughs> channel you get to find out about new music that i completely had no idea of i would have never thought that a marching band can be paired with a rock track like this it kind of switches back and forth you know these sections of the track are like the rock parts of the track and then it has sections which i think is probably the choruses which turn into these kind of marching band styles oh i might have had that the wrong way around but regardless you can feel the the change especially when the the brass or the horns part of uh, of the instrumentals or the instrumentation comes back in it certainly does that switch very very unique very unique track i've never heard anything like this um okay so if we're going to go down the route of it being a trip that ending last bit of note that last couple notes where it just all went down where you that is like essentially to me like the melting of the ego or the ending of the trip or like the, the great climax and then everything comes down afterwards it really does sound something like that so great job if it is inspired by that but in general it was written about uh, the writing process or just where they were at that moment trying to write a song which is a fantastic way to kind of create art i mean you think of van gogh staring out into the starry uh starry sky starry night sky and he creates his greatest piece of work the same could probably be said here about chicago right them just capturing the moment in a song perfectly done very well executed track love the war pedal great song thumbs up <laughs> 